Sally Hardesty. If you're wondering what that was, that was a little promo for my collab channel, Seven Days of Slay, where I upload every single Friday. So go check that out, link in the description box. I suck at doing Q&As, I always forget to film them. Like, it just totally slips my mind that Q&As exist. So today, I'm gonna finally do one. It's been a while, I'm sorry. Thank you to everyone who asked me questions on Twitter, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read these off my phone. In your opinion, what does it take for someone to call themselves a YouTuber? I think that if you consider yourself to be a YouTuber, like, that's what you do, then you are a YouTuber. I hate when people are snobby, like, you have to have a million subscribers, like, you're nothing until you have a million subscribers or you upload every day or whatever. I don't think there should be standards like that. Obviously, if you have one video on the internet and then it's been three years and you haven't uploaded since then, I don't think many people are going to consider you a YouTuber, but... But if you've even uploaded a few videos and you have like 100 subscribers, whatever, if that's what you love to do, that's what you're passionate about, if that's what you consider yourself to be, then that's what you are. I don't think it's up to anybody else to define that for you. If you have ever been to Los Angeles, what's it like? I really want to live there. I'm actually going to LA in a couple of weeks for my birthday, November 5th. I'm going to be out there for like a long weekend with Natalia Taylor, Anna Campbell, Sierra Watts, and then a few people from the Trash Collab like Aaron, Chip, and Colin. And then Tana might be there too. I don't really know, but it's going to be an awesome time. And both collabs are going to be collabing, Seven Days of Slay and Trash. And I love LA. I went there last year for Valentine's Day weekend, and then I've been there when I was young younger with family. The only thing I don't like is traffic, but other than that, I really would like to move there one day, like after college. What are you going to be for Halloween? I hope this question isn't too lame, lol. No, you're good, girl. I expected that question. And I wanted to be an alligator originally, but I'm cutting it kind of close at this point. It's like a week away, so I'm probably going to be something else. But if I was an alligator, people would probably think that I was a lizard, a dinosaur, a swamp monster. People probably wouldn't be able to tell what I was, you know? It's just one of those costumes. Plus, they don't really sell those. I'd have to make that, and again, that takes a lot of time that I'm just not prepared for. So. I'll probably be a mermaid or a Dalmatian or something like that. Other than YouTube, what do you like to do in your free time? Trick question, I don't have any free time. Literally all I do is school, YouTube, live streaming, and then showering, eating, occasionally sleeping. I don't really have much free time other than that. When I do have a free moment, I'm probably hanging out with friends and nothing that interesting. I mean. I live in a little college town and this is just what I do 24-7, so. If you could trade all your best friends for one celebrity best friend, would you do it? No. No. My best friends mean way more to me than some celebrity. And you never know how people are going to be in real life. You know, like YouTubers or celebrities. You hear that a lot and I think it's true, so I wouldn't risk that. I wouldn't even want to throw my best friends away for anything, so no. Would you rather only ever date Scorpios or only be best friends with Scorpios? I never want to date another Scorpio again. I did that. It didn't work out. Too intense. One Scorpio with another Scorpio. It might work for some people. In my experience, it did not, but I love being best friends with them, so I'll say that. What advice would you give someone that is about to start a YouTube channel? So, I know in every single q and I'm notorious for being like, I'm gonna make a dedicated video on that for like every single topic or question, so I really am going to do that. I'm gonna make a whole video. I already made one, but I'm making a second one. But just to give you an answer to that, I would say to be yourself, don't try too hard, don't try to be a story time YouTuber if that's just not your personality, don't try to be a prank channel if you don't love to prank people, just do what actually feels right to you and you're gonna go somewhere with it. What do you see in your future? Married, kids, etc. I don't see any of that for a very long time. I honestly just see myself buckling down with everything I'm doing right now and continuing that to pursue school, YouTube, broadcasting, and then... When I'm graduated from college, you can go ahead and ask me that again. Maybe I'll have a different answer for you. Can you please say my name in your video? I love you so much. I love you too. Hannah Mary. Hannah Mary. What is your favorite scary movie? Prom Night. That's been my favorite scary movie forever. At this point in time, like being almost 20 years old, I don't know if it's that scary, but I remember watching it when I was like 15 or whenever that came out and I was terrified. I was so terrified. Plus, I love the main actress in that movie. What is the hardest part about college? For me, not procrastinating because I totally do that and then also remembering when everything's due because you have different classes and they're all due at different dates and times and online or in person. So you just have to sort of get used to remembering those types of things and writing them down. Why did you and your boyfriend break up? 
So I didn't want to have to address this on YouTube at all, but obviously I talked about it on here and everything, so you guys were familiar that I was in a relationship, and I think I had to learn the hard way with that because every YouTuber always says, they always tell you, don't make your relationships public because I did that, and then I had to deal with like talking about it publicly when we broke up, so I shouldn't have done that in the first place, but I didn't think I was relevant enough where people even followed up with that or cared, but we did break up, and that's because, honestly, it's nothing with him. Like, he didn't do anything wrong. You guys don't go over and, like, sock him or say anything to him. He had nothing to do with it. It's just, like, a personal issue with me. Like, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I have commitment issues. I basically dated guys my entire life. Like, I've never been single. And if you know me, you know how true that is. I even had a boyfriend from, like, 6th to 8th grade. And then freshman year, I had a boyfriend. The only year I didn't have a boyfriend was my sophomore year. But even then, I was constantly dating people and, like, talking to guys. So, I've always been in serious relationships. I just needed a break from that. We don't live in the same area. Area and I'm so constantly busy that I just really wanted to fully focus on what I'm doing right now plus with this new collab channel I mean I'm so excited I'm basically spending all of my time with you guys for you guys and then I have to do some things for myself so I basically just do not want to be tied down right now at all that's just I can't do that right now. I need to give myself a break. I have no desire to be in a relationship for a very long time. So I don't know if anybody else understands where I'm coming from. I don't want to put out that message that you need a guy to validate you because that's totally not how I feel. And I feel that you should love yourself and do what makes you happy. And right now, I know to make myself happy, I need to be full force focusing on everything I'm doing and not having any distractions. So I couldn't give someone the time that they deserve right now, if that makes sense. And even if I could, I wouldn't want to because I want to be doing everything I'm doing and spending all my time doing that and just building relationships and networking in college which I haven't been doing too much of because I've been so tied down like constantly what's the worst thing someone has done to you if you watch any of my story times you'll see a bunch of crappy things that people have done to me throughout my 19 almost 20 years so be sure to just check all those out and those will answer your question what's the best and worst thing about YouTube best thing is that this is what I absolutely love to do and I'm so happy I found something I'm this passionate about and it's pretty sweet to be able to have this as like my little career going on alongside of college because college stresses me out and YouTube can too but it's like the good kind of stressful where you feel so proud of yourself and so productive for like all that you're doing and putting your effort towards even if my channel grew like this fast like for years, I would be proud of it because this is something I've worked so hard with and I've come so far with already. So yeah, mushy gushy, whatever. The worst part about YouTube, unfortunately, is you have a lot of people who are fake towards you because of it, not necessarily on the internet, but in real life. For example, people I went to high school with who never talked to me or people who I haven't seen or heard of in years, they come out of nowhere hitting you up asking for free promos or shout outs and it's just kind of fake. Like you know they're using you for your followers. There's also been friends I've had to drop because they were mad that I'm becoming so successful on here and I found something I love so much, which is really sad that people can't be happy for their friends, but that's why they're not real friends. So basically, YouTube has helped me to figure out who my real friends are. <laughs> Favorite song at the moment. I really like the song Say Goodbye by Sarah Baska. She did a Chris Brown remix. At this point, I should probably just legally download it because I play it way too much off of YouTube. So yeah. Has anyone ever recognized you in public? Yes, actually that's happened a lot recently and I don't understand why. A lot of people from my college even, like people my age, I'll be at a party or a friendly gathering and everyone's like, you're the YouTuber, I saw this video and this video, I follow you on Instagram and I think it's so funny. I think it's just hilarious because I don't have a big head about it. Like I don't think I'm cool because of that at all. I think they're cool. I'm like, you're so cool. That is so awesome you're subscribed to me and I like hug them and take snaps chats with them so I just think that's amazing it obviously doesn't happen all the time but when it does I just made a new best friend pancakes or waffles I think that totally depends if I'm at waffle house I obviously want waffles but if I'm at IHOP I probably want their pancakes have you met any best friends from YouTube so anyone I've ever met on YouTube like I've met them in person we pretty much became best friends like anyone you guys have ever seen me do a collab with which isn't that many people but I've also done like internet ones like virtually and anyone you guys have ever seen me talk to on Twitter I've pretty much like become friends with all those people because we all have a common love for YouTube which is like a solid friendship 
foundation if you ask me. Also, everyone in 7 Days of Slay collab channel, they are already like a family to me. And like I said, I'm going to LA with them and then part of the trash collab. So I know we're all just going to be super close from that one trip. So many people on YouTube say that YouTubers are fake, but... I just got really lucky, I guess, because every single one that I've met have been amazing people, like some of the best people I've ever met. What would you name your daughter or son if you had one? Daughter, Kara. Son, that's a hard one. There's a few names I really like for a son. Luke is super cute. I don't know. There's a few. Worst grade you got on a test? F. That's definitely happened. More so in like middle school and stuff, but still, I've definitely gotten F before. Uh, what did you dress up on? Halloween when you were eight. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? Okay, when I was eight, I don't remember. I was a Teletubby one year. I was a clown one year. I was Hannah Montana one year. I don't remember when I was eight years old. Like, I just can't remember specifically. That might have been the year I dressed up as a witch and was allergic to my green face paint. Was it fun? Had an actual panic attack. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? British accent, duh. American accents don't exist. Like maybe to British people, but to me, this is how I talk. This is, I don't have an accent at all. Why is there a double standard for sleeping around? Okay, I hate the fact that if a guy is just out there like getting heck of girls, he gets props for it, he gets knuckles for it, he's considered like a Mac daddy or whatever, like, He's super cool because of that. But then if a girl does the same thing, she's slut shamed. And even if she does like a fraction of what the guy's doing, slut shamed. If she's wearing a tank top, slut shamed. Girls get slut shamed for everything. It's such a double standard and I wish that things would change with that. I don't think it should be that way. Have you ever had a one night stand? Would you ever have one? No and no. What does your bed smell like? It smells like my laundry detergent. What if the movie The Purge was real? So I just watched the third Purge where the presidents are getting killed and stuff. I think that would happen. I also think that I would die no matter how much security I had on me. I feel like there's probably someone out there who hates me enough to want to kill me. And I wouldn't kill anybody. I would hide in my house like a scaredy cat. I'm so scared. of. I, I couldn't handle it. Watching those movies freaked me out. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and then comment below with video requests because I'm always open to trying new things and hashtag SlayGator if you are subscribed to 7 Days of Slay, which the link is below, you know. I'm doing a giveaway soon for people who are subscribed to both channels, so make sure that you go ahead and do that because it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna post really cool videos on there. Also, follow my social media so you can get to know me outside of YouTube and I'll see you guys next time. Later, alligators. Bye.